guys today I'm gonna be showing you what the diff what the different parts of a book is called now there are two types of books you have paperback and you have hardcover now a paperback is a book which is made which which the cover is made of a thin paper you see thin paper here I'm holding one of my book entitled the hotel affair this is a paperback because the cover is made up of thin paper now for a a, a hardcover a hardcover is called such because the cover is made up of a hard cardboard hard cardboard so it's called hardcover now we all know you have the the front of the, the front of the book and you have the back of the book but then you also have this side of the book and I'm going to use the hardcover because it's a little bigger. So at this part of the book, it has a name. Now this back of the book is called the spine. S-P-I-N-E. Spine. This part. is called the spine. And the front of the book is just the front of the book and the back is just the back. Now, when you open the book, it would be, this is a hardcover book, you will notice that there is a white paper that is, you, that is glued to the, 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 in, the inner part of the cover. And the re, this, this piece of white paper is called an end paper. Now, the use of the end paper, the purpose of the end paper is to hide the raw copy, the raw, the raw appearance of the, the, the hard cover. Because the cover is made up of, of, um, of hard cardboard. So if you leave it raw, it would not look good. So you have a white paper that is placed on the inner side of the, of the cover to hide that raw ugly appearance and this white paper which is glued here is called end paper um in some books you will have also when you open it you will realize there is a blank paper a blank leaf that is a blank leaf this blank leaf is called a fly leaf here is it a fly leaf and you may ask yourself what's the purpose of this blank paper at the, at the beginning or at the back of the book in some book a, a fly leaf is just at the front and in some book one is at the front and one is at the back so you may ask what is the purpose putting a blank leaf when uh, uh, um, in the book well the blank leaf can be used by the reader especially by the reader to um, say you know if you're giving this book as a gift to someone you can write it there um, you can if you um, if you are the author and you are gonna give this book to someone you don't want to sign your name out on the cover so you go into the blank leaf and you can write it there the blank leaf can also be used by the reader to you know make notes so it's a very useful thing but you don't have to write on the blank paper but it's there just in case you can make some notes or if you're giving the book as a gift to someone you can write um, something on the blank on the blank and on, on this blank leaf which is called a fly leaf this piece of leaf called a fly leaf so guys that's really it about today so as I can go over it again you have paperback which is a book made up of book with whose cover is made up of thin paper hardcover book is a book 
that the cover is made up of thick cardboard and inside the inside of the a hardcover book you'll have this blank leaf which is called the end paper to, and it is used to hide the raw ugly look of the hardcover because if you tear it off you would notice how ugly it looks and then this side of the book is called the spine okay and then that that, that blank page that you have in the book that you see in some book it is called a fly leaf you can use it to say um, write something like for example this book belongs to so and so or I am giving this book as a gift to so and so so you can it's, it's practical you know it's practical there so really guys that's really about it thanks for watching I'm an author remember you can visit my website look right down there in the description if you're watching this video on YouTube or just go to www.nigeldsalmon.com thanks guys for watching have a great day